Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another little unboxing video for you. It's just a small one, but it's very, very cute. I have been so excited to get this. I've literally been waiting and it got delivered to my neighbour and I was like, oh no, you know, am I going to see them before the weekend? Am I going to get to see them? Am I going to get it? Uh, I've managed to get it a few days ago um, and I've just been kind of waiting to do this video before I really got them out and had a little play. Now, if you didn't know, Birchbox basically, if you get their monthly subscription boxes, allow you to review their products. At the end of each reviewing session, basically after two reviewing sessions, did I say, so if you review two months worth of boxes, um, you get £10 worth of points to spend in their store, um, which is really generous. I mean, that's, that's quite a lot of money if you think about it. It kind of makes each box about £5, so, um, if you are planning to um, use Birchbox, that is a real, real benefit, which actually I didn't know about until after I had done like my first month subscription um, and got it and asked, was asked to review the product. So um, with that in mind, I did make a little purchase. Uh, here it is. It's so exciting. Box is a bit bashed and dented in, um, but I cannot wait to show you what is inside. So this is what I got. This is the, um, let me just bring it up on my screen down here. Um, so this is the Spectrum Collection Siren Smoke Collection. Um, now these are just amazing. Um, a couple of weeks ago we got a Spectrum brush and I think, I can't remember if it was in Glossy Box or Birch Box, I'm not sure. Um, but I have now started using that brush as my everyday um, brush to use in my crease. I absolutely love it. A um, little bit better than my um, Real Techniques brush because it's um, my Real Techniques brush is like flat, flat faced rather than pointed. Um, so because I've got quite a small eye, it just works a little bit better for me. Um, but anyway, I thought I would try these brushes as well because I did want some more shadow brushes to add to my collection. So these are just beautiful. Um, they've all come in their own individual little plasticky palette, plastic um, little wallet. So we'll get each one out and have a little look. So let's start with this one. Uh, I'm not even quite sure where I'm going to put these yet because I don't actually have enough room in my brush box to to store them all so I may have to make some um, reductions in other brushes and um, but this is like the tapered edge sort of brush and um, this is the A17 um, really good probably for sort of liner that sort of thing or under the eye um, very very cute um, this is probably the brush that I was most excited for this is the A12 um, so it's just a really really nice sort of little sort of buffing type brush very very cute um, really really soft actually it's not as soft as I thought they were going to be um, if I compare it to and I know it's a little bit dirty because I've used it this morning um, this one which is the Spectrum C06 which I got um, last month these are actually a little bit firmer um, but I mean it's still the same sort of quality um, but I'd say it's a little bit firmer not by much um, but yeah I'm really excited to use that one that was the one that I really really wanted um, you then have what's this one this is the A15, so this is very much like a little lip brush. Um, very, very flat ended, probably quite nice for doing um, like any work like in the inner part of your eye really, um, if you want to apply any sort of highlighter or anything like that. Um, so that is very nice. I just love the colours of these. I just, anything that's sort of like this sort of metallic-y sort of painted finish, I do really, really like. Um, what else have we got? Now this is quite a big brush. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use this yet. Um, probably like an all over like wash of colour. Um, I do like a base colour on my eyes because I do get um, like a few little veins and things like that being that I'm quite pale. Um, so this is the A06 um, and is, as I said, it's, it's a bit more of a flat brush. I don't know if you can see the end of it there. Um, yeah, it's a bit more of a, a flat brush. Um, but at the same time, I mean, that is just lovely and soft. Really, really nice. Um, 
but yeah, quite big for my eye. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, quite a big brush. Um, you then have the B04, which looks beautiful. Um, that one there is a lovely sort of tapered edge to it, um, flat again, um, really, really nice. This would be good for sort of like going in the crease with, um, or just doing that sort of wash of colour over the top of, um, the top of the crease. So I'm looking forward to using that. I just love the colours; they're so pretty. Anything sparkly or shiny, just give it to me. It's mine. Um, now this is like a buffing brush, um, very similar um, in um, sort of like the flatness to the top of it, um, similar to my, um, where is it? Yeah, very similar to my Real Techniques kind of style, um, although my Real Techniques one is just slightly more domed, um, but at the same time, um, that would be an interesting one to use. I'm going to have to look and see if I can find any people who do like tutorials with these um, because I'm not quite sure what I would use that one for. Let me see what it says on there. So this is the, um, what does it say, B03, uh, the baby buffer. Um, does it say anything about baby buffer? No, it doesn't say anything about the baby buffer. So if you have any suggestions as to how I can use this one, please let me know. Um, and then there is just a lovely um, B06, which is the B06, uh, the tall tapered blender. Uh, really, really nice, lovely brush. Um, that'll probably be one of my staple brushes to use. So that is my spectrum brushes that I got from Birchbox um, with my points. So I'm very pleased to have them. Now also, um, I got sent two samples and I could not believe the samples when I opened the box. These were fantastic. Um, so the first sample I got was um, a Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl, which is this one here. Um, I haven't actually opened this yet. Um, now I'm guessing there's a wand in here. Um, yeah. Oh, it's curved. It's a curvy wand. Ooh. Um, so what does it say about this? Designed for after hour seduction, unique brush created drama and volume and curl combined with an extreme carbon black water resistant finish. So I am excited to try that. That sounds very, very nice. I like a bit of mascara. In fact, I probably have collected in the past more mascaras than I have anything else. And I've always kind of gone for like more high-end mascaras. So when I get to try something different, um, I always really enjoy that. So that is a good one for me to be sent. Thank you very much, Birchbox. Um, and the other thing, which I thought was a huge, for a sample, it's pretty big, um, is a cow shed cow pat moisturizing hand cream now if that came in birch box or a glossy box um i'd be really happy with that but i didn't actually pay anything for that that was completely free with my purchase so uh yeah really really happy um i've never tried any cow shed products and it's something i've always wanted to try so i am looking forward to trying that so that was my little mini haul, uh, my little money unboxing, and as you can guess, I am super excited to try those brushes. So um, stay tuned and I'll let you know how I get on with them. Um, but in the meantime, have a good day and I'll see you later.